Well, hello and welcome to Atheism versus Logic. I just had something on my mind and I already, already left the house, so I just wanted to make a video in this high quality, you know, video studio uh, in this truck. But, but what I want to talk about is just the, my my experience and me processing uh, trying to be an atheist because you know I want to know what is true, and so I went through a period of time where I just I just really wanted to think is atheism an option um, and so I thought about is it possible that the universe and the life within exist without there being a a hyperdimensional creator a creator that's that's outside of the three spatial dimensions that we experience outside of the um, you know outside of our universe is there is there a being outside of the universe that created the universe and created the life within and I just could not get myself to accept that it just wasn't logical to me it wasn't it wasn't because I was um, you know I wanted to believe in an afterlife or I wanted to believe there was someone watching out for me and watching what I do I I just couldn't get myself to think that that was possible and so what I'm gonna do is post my two favorite videos that you know if you're trying to, to well for you number one if you think it's logical to believe that this universe and life within came about by just came about on its own you know if you believe that then watch these two videos the, the my two issues really three issues number one is the universe and how well it functions that and I know you say it's crazy that life is only uh, possible on one planet right now we only observe life on one planet but but to me that's that's logical for a big God who wants us to be in awe of things especially in a big God that wants us to discover things the, the the universe working and functioning the way it does I just can't believe that came about without a creator um, and then man life within holy cow I mean I thought life was amazing before I started researching what's actually going on on the molecular level but man the molecular machines holy cow especially now after being exposed to these videos that show us simulations of what is happening inside of our living cells I, I I cannot I cannot lie to myself and tell myself that, that that came about by natural processes over time. These molecular machines, man, they are from God. A creator had to create them. Order, you know, order is the sign of an intelligent being. Especially when you have, you know, these sequences that of nucleotides into genes and amino acids into proteins, you know. To get them in the right order, you need a creator. And then, man... Uh, first, I read a book by Michio Kaku called Hyperspace, and just just investigating theoretical physics on on other dimensions uh, really made me believe in a creator. So I'll I'll uh, I'll post a video by Carl Sagan, which I think he just explains he doesn't believe in God. And this video on molecular machines is a secular video; it's not a creationist video. Uh, but the the video by Carl Sagan, he just does such a great job of explaining uh, what it would be like if a hyperdimensional being. Um, interacted with lower dimensional beings like in this situation he's talking about a three-dimensional being interacting with a two-dimensional being uh, and that's how it would would be very similar a picture of a hyperdimensional being interacting with us who are well physically we're in three dimensions but I think there are parts of us our spirit and our soul that are hyperdimensional and that's how God interacts with us and that's why prayer matters. I know you guys hate prayer. You think it's a waste of time, but not if there's more than one dimension. Not if you're able to communicate with a hyperdimensional being who can who can do things and change things in ways that you can't see. Right? The, the spirit realm and the spirit is just another way of saying hyperdimensional. That's not in the Bible, right? The Bible doesn't say hyperdimensional that God is a hyperdimensional being. It says God is spirit, and those who worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Um, so anyway, so. So I tried to be an atheist. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't. I couldn't lie to myself that this universe could come about by natural processes over time. That life, and especially the molecular machines that that make life live, I couldn't. I couldn't lie to myself that those things came about by natural processes. And just the fact that that people who do not believe in God talk about high, higher dimensions and that it solves so many problems in in quantum physics that there are more than three spatial dimensions and so so anyway uh, if you've been on my channel for a while you've seen these videos of molecular machines and Carl Sagan explaining the fourth spatial dimension so if not uh, watch these and if you are a Christian or a theist and you're trying to help other people see that it is most logical and scientific to believe in a creator then these two videos are what I would recommend first uh, because
molecular machines could come, only come about from a hyperdimensional being, and and it just makes sense. You know what what we talk about dealing with the spirit realm. Um, Carl Sagan does a good job explaining it.